All right, it's Friday night, it's 8.30, and we're about to cook. What are we baking? Or actually, we're baking. What are we baking? We are baking my mom's recipe of super moist banana cake recipe. So, let's get started. It's 8 p.m. and it's 49 degrees outside in the middle of April. Speaking of strange weather, on a Friday night, Margaret sends me out to go to the store. Using some softened butter. You can either leave it out to get to room temp or you can do what I did and put it in the microwave on defrost. It's going to be able to cream really easily with the sugar and we will be good to go. Now what I'm doing today is making three and a half recipes because I am baking an Easter cake and it is going to be um, an Easter basket cake with a couple of cool twists that I haven't seen before, but that I have done and it's really cool and it looks pretty. So, check out the next video for how to do that. All right, so I did three and a half sticks of butter and we're just going to go ahead and cream that until it is all creamed and ready for the sugar. All right, our butter is all creamed. I'm going to scrape the side of my bowl. Um, which is really important as you get farther along because otherwise what happens is you'll end up pouring your cake batter in your pan and Finding butter and sugar at the bottom that never got mixed in now that that's cream. We're gonna add in our sugar Yes, this is an obnoxious amount of sugar, but remember we're making three and a half recipes um, If you want the single recipe check out in the comments below I've put in the whole recipe and the instructions for how to do it <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the comment. <laughs> He's my helper. <laughs> How much sugar is that? This is seven cups. Seven cups of sugar? That's how diabetes happen. This is how yummy cakes happen. All right, so we want to let this get creamed together and kind of let that sugar getting start, um, start breaking down. And then we're gonna start adding our eggs. Okay, so we're gonna start adding our eggs. Let them slowly mix in. I can, I can feel the sugar in there. I can hear the sugar in there. So right here, we have our flour, baking powder, baking soda, and our salt. All right, so we're going to mix all three of these together. So we're going to take our flour and we're going to add this in in about three stages. A third of the flour, a third of the buttermilk, et cetera, et cetera.
second about choosing our bananas. These bananas have been sitting out on the counter for about three days. Um, this is a great, comfortable way to have your bananas look. Dark yellow with a few spots on them. Okay, so I'm gonna put our bananas in this um, blender here. And so if you don't have one of these, that's totally fine. Um, the way I grew up doing them was peel your ripe bananas, put them on a plate, smash them with a fork. It's totally fine. This is just a little bit of a quicker way for me to be able to get these. So I thought it was really cool. My husband has never had um, banana cake before until last week when I made him one of these. He grew up over in Vietnam and while he had tons of really cool and unusual foods to me over there, uh, this was not something that they had. So I got to show him how I make banana cake. Um, and I've also tried to get him to like sweets more because he was the first person I'd ever met who did not like sweets and who <laughs> did not snack, which was totally a foreign concept to me um, because I snack all the time, all day, every day. Um, you don't get apps like this, you snack. Yeah, I think it needs a liquid. Aww. Surely hoping it would do that for me. Okay. So the bananas are done. So let's pour these in. This is what is going to really make the banana bread, um, banana cake great. The last two things we're gonna add are my favorite next to the bananas. So we're gonna add vanilla. Vanilla is a key ingredient in almost anything baking. Uh, use pure vanilla, don't use the imitation. I promise you it is worth the cost. However, when my husband and I went shopping at Sam's, um, he had no idea how much a thing of real vanilla would cost. And so we looked in this tiny little two ounce or four ounce bottle was $20, he about had a heart attack, and we put it back on the shelf. Two weeks later, I talked him into buying it. Pure vanilla, definitely the way to go. So we're gonna mix this in, and don't be afraid to do it to taste. If you make this recipe or any recipe, and it just doesn't have, quite have all the flavor you're looking for, look at two different things. Does it need more salt, or does it need more vanilla when you're looking at baking? Both of those things can really enhance the flavor, taste, sweetness, etc. And it's something that you as the baker get to determine. I do that a lot with my recipes. I just tweak them a little bit. Alrighty, last ingredient here going in, chocolate chips. Absolutely my favorite part. Now, if you don't like these, no concerns. You don't have to add them in. You can also add Coconut is fantastic in this, and chopped pecans are absolutely amazing. Let's mix these in. We're gonna get this in the oven. Okay, I'm gonna add a few more. to you about how to grease pans. The way that I like to do it is by taking Crisco or butter, I'm going to use Crisco, and we're going to evenly coat all the pans, and then we're going to put flour in there, and we're going to give it all a coating of flour. This will help almost a hundred percent success rate of your cakes turning out perfectly. Nobody wants to turn out a cake only to see that big old glob of cake that's still stuck to the middle of your pan. So if you want to make sure that you don't, um, Crisco first or butter, Let's get it evenly, and then check it in the light to make sure that you don't see any dry spots, which we'll do in just a minute. Pro tip.
Oven's ready. All right, we're ready to put our batter into our pans. Now, if I was doing a wedding cake, um, groom's cake, even a baby shower cake, I might weigh them if I need them to be the exact height. For this, I'm good, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. Man, this is heavy. Can we do it? Yes. I'll let Mr. Muscles for that. I mean, it is three and a half recipes. <sighs> Call in the big guns. Oh, my stars. Tell me when. Um, in case you were counting, yes, I do have two of the small ones, one of the big ones. I only have one, <laughs> I only have one pan of this size. So what I'm going to do is let this bake. And then when this one, while this one's baking, I'm going to be doing the dishes. And then pull this cake out, and then I get to relax while the second one bakes. It's going to be great. Okay, let's get these in the oven. 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. All right, now if these were a lighter cake, like a yellow cake or a white cake, we would want to use the little wet fabric strips. You can get them online, Amazon has them. Um, and what it does is you wrap them around the pan in a 360 and it makes your cake bake evenly. So you don't have to worry about cutting off that whole top of your cake and wasting all that. Yeah, you don't have to do that. They literally come out perfectly flat. Reason why I'm not doing it here is the banana cake is very dense and it tends to smooth itself out. Oh, welcome to our new kitchen. That's the light for better lighting. Yep. I'm gonna break this segment for pro tip number two in buying a house. So remember in the previous episode, I had talked about how I was not excited to buy a house because of the um, inspector not doing his job. Here's problem number two that we found once we move in. Listen to this. Can you hear me? Because I can't hear you. Yeah, the guy absolutely missed that too. We came in, we moved in and we turned on the oven and it, it's like that. So I gotta have somebody come fix it. So again, I would like to reiterate, if you want to buy a house, find you a good home inspector. Oh, and by the way, the other thing I forgot, which was another problem in our house, is you see this huge wall right here? Yeah, it's got one, two, three, four plugs. These two over here don't work. We can't figure out why. Thanks. Thanks. So find you a good home inspector. I can't stress that enough. Find you a good home inspector. The, while the cakes are cooking, this is what we gotta do. By we, I mean Margaret does it and I supervise. And man, what a fantastic supervisor. I mean, not everybody can just stand there and look at you like that, right? Take well, talent. It takes somebody really pretty for me to stand there and look at for that long. Oh, honestly. All right. We'll be back. Almost done. They've got this beautiful golden color on top. I mean, that's perfect. And see how it's starting to pull away from the sides of the pan? That's how we know it's done. We're gonna let these cool for about two to three minutes. Then we're gonna flip them out. All right, let's turn these out. Alright, now if you're worried about these, you can give them a pat, but I'm not. We're in great shape. Don't burn yourself lifting these up. Look at there. Whoa. Whoa. They came right out. Every time. Every time. Alright, now you want to cover these up quickly, seal them up, and that way they keep all the fresh moistness and the heat can keep them really um, 
moist until you get ready to serve them. So is this done for episode number one? Done for episode number one. So we'll be back tomorrow? We'll be back tomorrow. For episode number two. For episode number two. And he doesn't know what we're doing, but we're going to ice these beautiful cakes. And I'm gonna show you how to do basket weaving as I make an Easter cake. It'll be great. Do the thing. <laughs> oh, is your hair fixed? Your hair looks so pretty. Okay, look, you know what? You don't get used this because I'm doing this for real. <laughs> and you just need to like, go play. Oh. Right, come here. I'm John. Come on. <laughs> come on. And I'm Margaret. And this is Wilson. <laughs> what are we doing today, Wilson? Let's try that again. Okay. Wilson's not behaving. Hey, dude. <laughs> Want to learn how to make a cake? <laughs> you just don't know. That might be the introduction to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you doing, Margaret? <laughs> that is disgusting. Okay, John, you, you, there's no reason to even record that because you may not use it. Okay? <laughs> so apparently, we are going to try to dry blend banana. <laughs> <laughs>